Hi everyone, welcome to a bargain beer review right here on Thursday, Thursday, but before we get cracking on the beer, two mysteries for you to ponder. Will the FBI ever reveal who was a Zodiac killer, and how come, in the world of logistics and couriers etc, if you send something by road, it's called a shipment, but if you send something by ship, it's called cargo. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Anyway, up on the show today, we have a... Saint Etienne Lager. This tips the scales at 4.8% ABV and cost me, believe it or not, 85 English pence from supermarket um, Aldi. Now, I believe these guys are part of the Heineken group, so you know they've got a massive parent company. Um, 85p for a, you know, 500ml bottle is a pretty good bargain. Quite a nice cap as well, let's get it popped and poured and see what she is like, you know, Frenchy artwork as well, nice this, lo oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that, you clonker, look at that for cannon smoke, fantastic, now to be a bargain beer on my show you've got to cost £1.25 English pence or less for a 500ml bottle, you can be a bigger bottle, you can be a smaller bottle, but pro rata ratioed, 500ml £1.25 is how you get a guest slot on the show. So, uh, yeah, it's quite funky. Green bottle. Don't see all that many green bottles round about uh, in the UK anymore on beers in supermarkets and the like. Um, a few still use the clear ones, which, of course, as you know, can get the the uh, degradation from the light causing skunking. But, of course, brown ones are still the best. So, there she is in a glass. That pours a beautiful golden straw colour. Uh, one and a one and a half finger of you know fluffy, fluffy bubbles. Um, you know, got a semi nucleated glass here as well. But that looks pretty good. Let's go for a sniff and see what she's like. Um, premium lagers have a certain um, aroma, which is very very. Um, like a balance of malts, hops, um, sugar, I want to say sugar, like like corn sh sugar, that type of smell. So it's a you know, bit of this, bit of that, bit of And it's all quite, quite uh, re regimental, I think would be the right term. Now this is actually no different to that. It ticks all the boxes, you get a bit of hops, you get a bit of malt, you get a bit of a, like your corn sugar type, type thing. Um, It smells a quintessential lager, and by that, the hops are likely something like SARS, but at the price point, you know, it's not going to have the proverbial half a ton of um, SARS in the in the brewing process. You know, it'll be a a minimal amount, obviously, to keep the price point down for the manufacturer. Um, but um, it smells all right. So let's go for a taste. Cheers, everyone. Without wishing to sound stereotypical, it's clean, it's quite fresh, it's quite zingy as well, very, very quaffable, palate cleansing. Um, it's, this has probably been in the fridge for about three hours, to be honest. Um, you know, that carbonation is still screaming up there, and it's got really good head retention. Now, all of those elements are, there are various brands of lagers made by some of the you know the, the big big brewers here in the UK that are that whenever you're out doing your weekly shopping wherever whichever supermarket you frequent you see people buying crates of this stuff for you know personal consumption barbecue blah 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 and when you're into your beers you see them buying it you think what the hell are you buying all of that for and they just don't even look at things like this now this knocks for six anything that you buy in the UK supermarkets lager wise um, particularly in like cans on you know for um, for crates cans flat beds flat packs type things um, but people might turn their nose up at it because of the price point well with recessions on no one can afford to be snobby 
that is a really really good lager for the price point um, that is very quaffable that is a damn sight better than you know a lot of the supermarket things that I've just mentioned if you see one go and pick one up because I think if you are a lager drinker you will think oh my god why the hell am I buying these various brands in, in tin form appreciate they're cheap but actually for a few pence more that is much much better so on that note I need to give it a score for me in the context of a bargain beer and a bargain lager in this particular instance this is I think just about the best bargain lager I've ever done on Thirsty Thursday and based on that it's it's not your standard Euro fizzy pop type stuff pretty good mouthful, I mean look at that head retention as well bubbles look great, fantastic colour seriously if you paid you know four and a half quid five pounds, English pounds as it were in a, you know, in a London pub for that you, you wouldn't think it was a, an 85p supermarket one there's a uh, per Perlander, I think, is, is very, very similar as well. They're good beers, um, but don't necessarily have the the marketing that go with it over here that people are aware of it. So for me, best lager I've ever done on Thursday Thursday, I am going to give that, hold on to your hats, everyone, that is a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again real soon, right here, Thursday Thursday. If you see it, seriously, seriously, go and pick it up. You will be very, very pleasantly surprised. Put in the fridge, nice and cold. That ticks all the boxes. Cheers for watching, everyone. Be seeing you.